years, so we just started to, um, you know, write music, and it turned out to be a, a bit different than the stuff we used to do, you know. So uh, and it's a lot inspired by the by the nightlife and stuff. So um, uh, it, it happens to be way more electronic. And Tom and me, we produce for the first time as well. And if you do all these kind of things on your own, you know, it just takes much more time. And why did you guys decide to not record any songs in German in Kings of Suburbia? I mean, I mean, all the previous albums, there was a mix between English and German. And why just English right now? Just because it, it, you know, it felt more natural to just do it in one language. Because we were kind of, we didn't really like that, you know, with the last album, we just kind of felt like we have to do it, you know. So we kind of made that because people, you know, expected that from us. But uh, for, you know, this time we didn't want to do any compromises. So we were like, you know, because most of the time you like one version better than the other one and something gets lost in the translation. And I didn't want to make that compromise anymore. And I was just, you know, writing and texting in English. So I thought we just, you know, we just leave it like that. I didn't want to, I didn't want to force a German translation, you know. Cool. And what was the biggest influence on the change in sound of Tokyo Hotel? What, what was like the biggest thing that made you guys change the direction you guys were going from rock and more to club and dance music? Um, I think I think it was the t actually the time uh, we had. You know, the the just the four years of writing and producing was actually you know a big factor in like you know, creating the music and changing the sound so much because like for us it was more like a natural development in the time but obviously, you know, nobody could hear it so we were the only ones in the studio and for us it was like a whole process but for the people it was really like a like a surprise, you know, because they, they weren't around for four years so uh, it was the time and the, the time we had um, and that we did everything on our own, you know, it was the first time we really, you know, did everything from the scratch, like you know, from the first layers, the first demos to the final mastering of the of the record, and uh, yeah, I think that was the, that's it. That's good. Since it's so different, do you guys feel a different reception from the fans as well? Is the fans like reacting different? Do you guys think you guys are changing fans, or you think you still keep the same fan base? No, I think, you know, what's amazing is that, you know, our fans are so involved and so loyal. It's like crazy, you know, it's, it's, it's so many people that just like grew up with our music and they're still there and they're still so passionate about it. And that's, you know, I think that's one of the best things you can have as a band. And we're super happy that, you know, so many fans like, you know, stick with us and uh, through all these years. So that's great. It's definitely, you know, nice. But we also see, you know, some changes. I think we have a lot more you know, guys coming to our shows and I just think like in general, you know, just like we are, the our, you know, crowd is a lot older than they used to be, you know. So I think we all got some more wrinkles, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are coming back to Brazil. How do you guys have, remember anything from the last time here? How is it like to be back here? Um, I, you know, I think it's, I mean, it's, it's always great because we're not there often, you know, and I think, uh, you know, every time you go somewhere um, where you don't go so much, it's like, you know, the appreciation is just there, you know, and the fans are so excited, the people are so excited for the music and the show and everything, so, um, yeah, I think it's just going to be, it's just going to be intense. We expect, you know, a, a great show and a lot of energy and, um I, I remember the you know the last time and we always have you know we have a lot of fun so um, it's it's always been good so I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good show. Okay, I see here on your tour schedule, you guys are doing Latin America. Then you got have a U.S. dates as well and going back to Europe. What what's up on the Tokyo Hotel plans for the rest of the year and upcoming year? You guys gonna release a new album? You're gonna stick um, to this one? Yeah, I mean, there are so many, there are so many projects. Um, I mean, we're going to tour, so I, I think we have like around, you know, 50 shows uh, this year still. So it's, it's going to be a lot of touring um, and we focus on that. And then, you know, besides of that, of course, you always write on new music. So we're going to go back in the studio and we're going to meet with some, you know, new, um, uh, new producers and some new and fresh people. You know, we always try to you know, find find the you know the new upcoming guys to you know create something new. So um, yeah, we definitely go in the studio. We already have been in the studio, so we have a couple of new tracks already. 
uh, and maybe we're going to release something new uh, soon. And then you know, and then there are fashion projects in the making. And uh, Tom and me are writing a book. We are writing a novel, and we think um, we hope we can put it out by the end of this year. So yeah, a lot of projects. That's cool. So, um, on this, this new album, you guys have been playing in US and uh, like play venues for a thousand people. How is that? How is like for the band to play in Europe for the stadium and play in the US in a such like I'm not, not like such a small venue, but for only a thousand people? Does that like differentiate your shows, or is it good for the band to get closer to the public? How's it like to you guys? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually, we, um, you know, we started this year with small clubs in Europe too, just because we wanted to do it. So it's a little bit, uh, we got used to it, you know, and we wanted to do it for a long time, actually, like after the arena stuff we did for years and years. We just wanted to have, you know, some intimate moments with the fans as well, and and just like, you know, the whole concept really of the, you know, first part of the tour was to like, you know, turn the venues into nightclubs. And, and 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 that was you know really possible with smaller venues, uh, so you know so, so it's it's cool. I mean we we're going to the U.S. and it's all about like a thousand people, which is uh, which we got used to now uh, this year, and I think it it fits perfectly to the you know concept of the tour. And then we're gonna expand the production and and come to Latin America and you know gonna do the bigger venues, and we can like enjoy both. To be honest, it's 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 cool. Cool. Um, and you guys are living in LA for a while now. Do you guys, is it different? Is there like any food or any place in special that you guys miss from Europe or from Germany and now you guys are like based in LA? Oh, for sure. I think, you know, I think you always miss your home country, you know, you always, because you have like childhood memories of like, you know, special food and cake. And I think in general, it's just like all the pastries and, you know, all the, the baking stuff that's just so much better in, in, in Germany. But maybe this, it's just because I'm, you know, it's my, my memories, you know, it's my childhood. So you definitely miss that. I mean, there are a lot of things I, you know, you miss sometimes from, from Europe and Germany. But we also love, you know, we love living here and we, lo we enjoy living in the sun. That's, you know, that's great. We can't complain. Sweet. So we open up our Twitter for fans and a few questions. And one of the one of the questions is about tattoos. Fans that has a Tokyo Hotel tattoo. Some of them even have Bill's face and your guys' names. And how do, you, what do you guys think about it? Does that inspire you guys somehow? Do you guys think it's insane? What's your I point of view? Yeah, I think it's super cool. I mean, it's flattering for sure. I mean, I can't imagine that someone has Georg's face somewhere. That's crazy. Yeah. But <laughs> no, but I think in general, I mean, I have a tattoo of, you know, the band logo as well. I think it was my first tattoo ever. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, de it's definitely a commitment. I think it's flattering, you know, of course. I mean, for us as a band, it's like crazy that someone, you know, does that kind of commitment for, you know, the entire life. So I think it's great. I saw someone in, uh, in LA and she had like, um, she got a little overwhelmed with like all my different hairstyles. So she had a portrait of uh, my face with my different hair, like, you know, every time. So I think she had a portrait of me like eight times on her body, which is, that was a little crazy, but yeah, of course it's flattering, you know. So and there's a really funny question here. It, um... The girl called Amanda. She's asked if not, if, we're, if you were in a zombie apocalypse, which fiction character you guys would like to be to be a survivor? Um, if we would be in a in a what was the question? If we would be in a movie? If you if you were us humans in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, oh. which which fiction character you guys would like to be? To survive in this world. Hmm. Oh, like zombies? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, what what are the if, it could be, if it could be a superhero, it could be anywhere oh, from the okay. TV series or whatever. I think. I mean, I love. I love Spider Man. I just think in general he's like super cool because he, you know, I feel like he's one of the superheroes that has like the coolest, you know, features. 
And I love that he can kind of fly. I think that's the most amazing thing. So whatever happens on Earth, you know, and then if there's like water everywhere or I don't know, a fire, you can, you know, Spider-Man can always be up there somewhere. So I think I would be Spider-Man. That's cool. Flying is good. So the last thing is, can you guys send a special message to Brazilian fans? Yeah, I mean, we want to say, you know, thank you so much for all the support and all the love we can you know we can really feel it from so far away and we can't wait to come over and show everyone the tour and you know the 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 show we've been putting together and you know we put a lot of you know work into it and we're so happy to you know finally play it for everyone and um it's going to be a lot of fun so we just want to thank everyone for the love and the support and we hope to see everyone at the show sweet thank you so much guys thank cool. you Benjamin. Thank you. Thanks, Gabriel. Thank Have a so, great day, everyone. See you Have at a the safe show, trip huh? down here. Yep. Thank I'll you. Be there. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>